Here's three simple ways to delete Final Cut Pro projects. In this video, I'll show you how to find and delete projects. Then I'll show you how to copy and move projects. And at the end, I'll help you recover that project you just deleted and you wished you hadn't. What a treat, let's delete. Okay, first find the project you want to delete, select it, then go up to File and then select Move to Trash. Or you can just right click on your project and select Move to Trash. Or even faster, select your project and press Command Delete to delete that project. And you can see it's gone. To delete multiple projects, select the first one and then press Command and click on the other ones you want to delete. And then do the same thing. Go up to File, select Move to Trash, or you can right click and select Move to Trash or press Command Delete. You can also select your first project and then hold down Shift and click on the last one and it will select all the projects in between. And now you can delete them just like before. This also works if you're in film strip mode. These are my projects right up here and I can select different projects. I can also click and drag across them to select a bunch at once or hold down shift and select all of the projects in between. And then I can right click and select move to trash or press command delete. All right, if you're struggling finding your projects, first click on this icon in the upper left corner to reveal the library sidebar. When you click there, then you'll see your libraries and your events. If you click on a library, you can see all of the library projects here at the top. If you click on an event, you'll see only the projects in that event. There's also this Smart Collections folder here. If I click that open and then select Projects, this will show me only the projects in the library. Another helpful trick when you're on another section like these titles here is to find your browser quickly. Go up to File and then select Reveal Project and Browser or even faster, do Option Shift F and it will reveal or show your project. So I'll hold down Option Shift and F and it brings up the project browser and highlights my project. You can open a project by right clicking on it and select open project or just double click on the project and it will open it up down here in the timeline. You can use these buttons right here, this left and right arrow to navigate through your projects or your timelines. So I can go back in my timeline history to a previously open project or I can go forward in my timeline history to find that project I was working on earlier. You can also click right here and close this project or close all other projects. Let's close this one. Now when I click on these arrows here, that project I just closed is no longer active. Let's copy this project to a library. I'll select it and then I'll go up to File and then I'll select Copy Project to Library. I can select an existing or already open library or I can create a new one. We'll use this library I have open and then this window pops up and here's where I can select what I want to include in there. I want to include the media from that project or I can say just the project, no media. And then when I select my media, I can say original media or optimized and proxy media. And then this is media that's shared outside of the library. It will bring it in along with that project. I can also modify the settings where things are saved. When I'm ready to copy, I just click OK. You'll see in the Stupid Raisins library, it created a new event with the date and it includes my project and any clips I used in that project. I can also move a project to another library. Let's select this black bars too. We'll go up to File and I'll select Move Project to Library. This time let's create a new library. We'll give it a name. How about Move Project? And we'll save it. And then it asks what I want to do here. It's going to move the project and do I want to include any optimized or proxy media? I'll just leave those unchecked and click OK. And now we have a new library over here with a new event and I have that project here with any clips that were used in it. If we go back to where we started, we'll see that it's no longer there. Black Bars 2 is gone. That's because it moved to the new library. Hey, I was just wondering, am I doing a good job? Is this video helpful? Do you like it? If so, will you give it a thumbs up or a like so I know if I'm doing a good job? Thank you. Sometimes when you're working on a project, you might have some files here and some there, some in the library, some out of the library, and it can become a big mess. To avoid those red media missing errors, select your project and then go up to File and select Consolidate Project Media. Set where you want to store it. We'll do it right here in this library. And then we'll include the original media, but we'll exclude optimized and proxy media. And then we'll click OK. Now, I don't have any out and about, so it says there aren't any files to consolidate. So I'll just click OK. But if you do have files outside, this is when Final Cut will bring them in together and consolidate your project. Sometimes your project might misbehave. And one way to troubleshoot that is to delete the project render files. With your project open and selected, go up to File and select Delete Generated Project Files. It says you can't undo this, and that's okay. It's not gonna delete your project or your 
clips in it. It's just the render files. And render files are temporary files Final Cut Pro creates to make playback smoother. So I'm gonna select delete render files and then press okay. Okay, and now you'll see this dotted line right here in the top of your timeline. That means that Final Cut has not rendered this portion. If we open up preferences by pressing command comma and then go to playback, we'll see this background rendered and I can keep that on or off. I like to have it on personally and it starts after three seconds. So what happens is if I'm not doing anything in the background, Final Cut Pro will render and you'll see these dots. After a few seconds, you'll see these dots start to disappear. There it goes. That's because Final Cut Pro is making the render files for that project. All right, you can also duplicate a project. Select it, go up to edit and select duplicate project or right click on it and select duplicate project or just press command D and just like that, you have a duplicate project. If we open this up in the timeline, we see that our clips are all in the same order and our project is a copy of the original. You can also right click on it and select duplicate project as. This allows us to make changes to the settings. So we can give it a different name. We can change the video format and then we can enable this smart conform. Final Cut will go through and analyze the video and move the action to the center. So we're going from a HD video to a vertical video. We can also change the resolution and a few other things. We'll click OK. And now we have a copy of that project. And if we open it up, we've got it in vertical video. You can also select your project, go to edit, and then select snapshot project, or right click on it, select snapshot project, or press shift command D. And it creates a snapshot. And this is really handy if you have multicam or compound clips in your project. And when you snapshot them and make any changes to those, it doesn't affect the parent compound clip or multicam clip. So it's a great way to experiment without making permanent changes to your project. Okay, if you deleted a project on accident, don't panic. We can get it back. Go up to File, Open Library, and then select From Backup. Final Cut Pro automatically creates backups of your library every 15 minutes, but it's not a complete backup of the media, pictures, videos, that kind of thing. It's a database of your library, events, and projects. In this window, find the library where you know that project is. So I have a few of them from today, and then I can go all the way back to April. After a while, Final Cut Pro automatically deletes these. All right, let's go back here to the beginning of May. I'll select that and click open, and you'll see it creates a new library over here, and it puts a little timestamp on it. If I go to my event and scroll up to the top, I can see a bunch of different projects. Now these are all missing media, but if I double click on that and open it up, I can see all of the edits I made, and all I have to do is just reconnect the media. Once I found the project I'm looking for, I'll just drag it to my new event that I want to work on it in and put it there. It's gonna copy the library like before. I'll make my choices here and then I'll click OK. This is talking about the title or the media missing, but we're gonna relink it, so we're OK. I'll click Continue and then I have my project in here and it actually relinked back up because I have the footage in this event as well. So if you lose a project, don't worry, there's a way to get it back. Okay, if that last tip on recovering a deleted project was helpful, then you want to check out this video. I have six more tips in there on how to recover lost projects. Check it out here.